Good morning. Morning. Colin's excited. <laughs> Colin's going on a train. <laughs> It's weird because I love trains, but we don't often actually do vlogs about trains, do we? No, we don't. In fact, I don't think we've ever done one, like, on a train, have we, before? No. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Right. <laughs> we are at, if you haven't seen by the sign behind us already, at Dunrobin Station. Is it Dunrobin or Dunrobin? Well, we used to call it Dunrobin for ages, but... We've heard a lot of the locals call it Dunrobin, so we call it Dunrobin now because we want to integrate, don't we? <laughs> Not pomegranate. I get pomegranate and integrate mixed up, I don't know why. So we're at Dunrobin Station, although it's now known as Dunrobin Castle. Do you know why? Because it's at Dunrobin Castle! Because it's literally from here, it's literally like a five minute walk just down the drive. It's across the road! Straight down to Dunrobin Castle. So the station sits on the beautiful Far North Line. If you've not heard of it, it is beautiful. It stretches... It's a lovely journey. ...from Inverness, which is the most northerly city in the UK, and it goes up the northeast coast, mostly, uh, up towards Thurso, uh, which is on the north coast, and to Wick, which is kind of on the northeast. Now, like I said, we don't normally do videos about railways. Train. Train. But when I was doing the vlog about Ben Braggy and the wee manny last week, I saw the story of this place and it was really fascinating and last year it was its 150th birthday nearly, nearly as old, old as, as me <laughs> it actually is isn't it so i thought i got to tell you it now the line here nearly wasn't here really in the 18th where was it well <laughs> when they set off building it from inverness they got as far as goldsby which is about a couple of miles west of here and they ran out of money so they didn't have any money to continue the line on and that disappointed the third Duke of Sutherland. Now, don't confuse the third Duke with the first one. No, no. The first one's the one that not many people really like. But the third one wasn't that bad. And he saw the social value in the railway. So he decided to pay out of his own pocket £72,000. Wow. Which in today's money is about 8 million quid. Wow. And he paid for the line to be extended from Golsby, 17 and a half miles through here to Brora, where the Duke had only just reopened the northernmost coal mine in the UK, and it was the only British producer of Jurassic coal. Sounds like a movie, doesn't it? Anyway, by opening the railway, it meant he could move the coal out by train. Not only that, he could supply the local brickworks and power it with the coal, so they could make more bricks and tiles and pipes, which could also be shipped out by train. Brilliant stuff. From Brora, the line continues on to Helmsdale, where those communities that had been set up since the Highland Clearances were catching loads of fish. The harbour was doing really well. And the railway meant that the fish could be taken out of Helmsdale, down to the coastal villages and towards Inverness. Speaking of which, I need to be back at Dunrobin. When's the next train? If you're spending 72 grand or 8 million quid on a railway, it's not that wrong, is it, to treat yourself? I would have thought so. So the Duke built himself this lovely little railway station just for his own private use. It is nice as well. And he built himself a nice little private carriage. Did and, it? And a little steam engine and some little, uh, like, goods wagons. And he used to keep them just in that little, little branch just at the side of the station there. Ooh. It's not there anymore, but you can still see it. It's a lawn now. Yeah. <laughs> They gave him permission to drive his little steam engine up and down his little bit of track. That's awesome. And then he used to actually drive it down to Inverness with his own little carriage. Which now that is posh. It is. And even better than that, when he got to Inverness, he put his little steam engine somewhere safe. Disconnect in a locker. In a locker. <laughs> <laughs> disconnect his carriage and then he could attach his carriage to other trains and get pulled off further south. <laughs> what? You could do. In fact, I don't know if you remember, a few weeks ago we showed you a, a watercolour painting by Queen Victoria of Loch Brora. Do you we remember did. that? We did, yes yeah? I do. Now when she came up to Dunrobin in 18, I don't know, 72 I think it was, it was actually the Duke that went to pick her up from Inverness Station. The station looks a little bit different now than it did back in the 1870s. They were in colour. Now? The fourth Duke of Sutherland changed that building, knocked down the original one and he built this one, which is quite unusual design-wise for the Highlands of Scotland because it's like an English arts and crafts typey build design, isn't it? And it is quite unusual. 
under the canopy there's this lovely woodwork and the supports are basically tree trunks that have been tidied up a little bit and painted and the trellis is sort of like branches yeah tree branches it's not used as a ticket office and waiting room anymore inside is this brilliant museum and it's got all sorts of are you ready big word of the week what's that artifacts <laughs> from <laughs> I thought we were going to else then. from highland railway history The Far North Line's just over 168 miles long between Inverness, Wick and Thurso. Today we're just going to travel the 17 and a half miles that the Duke had built from here at Dunrobin up to Helmsdale and we're going to show you exactly why we love this stretch of railway so much. When the Duke was having the railway built he used local men to do all the work and this included building 19 quite substantial bridges. This one at Brora is the longest at 60 feet long and it carries the railway 45 feet over the river Brora and two roads at each side. Things haven't changed much around here since the station was built back in the late 1800s, although the trains look a bit different now. Between Dunrobin and Helmsdale, the railway winds its way along the coastline, literally metres from the sea, and really close to the side of the A9, which is the main NC500 route along the northeast coast. Do you recognise this stretch of sand? It's Crackeg Beach, officially Scotland's most northerly naturist beach. One of my favourite places. I better not zoom in too much here. There used to be a railway station here at Loth. It closed in 1960, but from the air you can still see the original station building, which is now a lovely private house. And there was also a small goods yard here. As we approach Helmsdale station, the railway turns inland. And that's because the coast after here is very hilly. I remember when I cycled Land's End to John O'Croats just how steep it is after Helmsdale. So the railway follows the Strath of Kildonan. It goes alongside the Helmsdale River and it's much flatter, but not for us. Helmsdale station is approaching and that's where we're getting off. I think that was our first proper train vlog. It was. Wasn't it? And it's given me an idea. Oh. Well, if the Duke can build his own railway, oh. why can't we? We could have like a garden railway company around the garden. Is it big enough? But I don't know, because we it might be, yeah. Uh, we were talking about Brora bricks, do you remember? Because there was a brickworks in Brora. Uh, and we've got some of them in our shed, haven't we? We bricks have. That say Brora brick on them. They do. In our train shed, or soon to be train barn. Well, it was. We were going to build a model railway in there. Yeah. In the train barn and call it train barn. But now, now I've, I've kind of got the idea of building a garden railway. Best buy a digger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how that one goes, shall we? Uh, if you want to visit Dunrobin, the station is only open from the 1st of April to the 15th of October, which is coincidentally the same dates that the castle's open to visitors. You wouldn't have thought that, <laughs> would you? <laughs> and it is a request to stop. The trains won't automatically stop there. So, so you've got your to, hand out. Like a bus, you've got to put your arm out and stop <laughs> the driver. Oh. And they don't run, they don't stop at the station when it's dark either because there's no lights there so they can't see you putting your arm out. So don't put your arm out. Which is why it doesn't stop after October. That wouldn't be funny, would it? I think that's it, isn't it, for this week? I think so. Oh, I've loved it this week. Uh, before we go, though, uh, we are starting to ship our calendars in the next few weeks, probably about three or four weeks. Ooh. We're going to start sending them out. So I know some of you have pre-ordered them already, but we're running low on numbers of the pre-orders. So if you haven't ordered one yet and you've been waiting, now's the time because they might run out in the next couple of weeks before we start shipping them out. Uh, so if you want to order a 2023 calendar, there's a link in the video description, or you can just scan the big QR code that I've slapped right over Sean's head again. 
I can move it, you know, with cracking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so get one ordered. Uh, if you want to just support the channel in any other way, uh, you can join us via Patreon or as a YouTube member. Uh, there is a link uh, on some devices up above Sean's head. If not, it's in the video description. You done? I'm done. All that's left to say is if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, and if you hit the notifications bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Until next week, take care of yourself. Bye bye. Tra! Four. If we don't hurry up, the train will be here. Three. Train! Train! See, I thought it was fascinating, although I'm easily pleased, especially by shiny things. <laughs> Only had fingers in pies and all sorts. <laughs> What? I'm glad you said bye. I've got that wrong. I've got to do it all again. We don't normally do videos about trains because I, I think I, I, my kind of enthusiasm would have, would the kind of uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're getting a bit giddy now. <laughs> I've forgotten. <sighs> oh, that was f good and all. I get it now. A lot different. Like yeah, uh, uh, clog, cl clogs. It's because I'm thinking of. Should we do that in English? Yeah. Three, two, one. Thunderbirds, I go. The station looks a little bit different. You tell me when you're ready again. It should make me laugh. It, that building wasn't there originally. It was over in that field. Huh. You get it? You get it? <laughs> was sort of... Ah! It's useless. You do it. <laughs>